Howdy, welcome to Go Show. Today I'm sitting with a Jason Mitchell Yukon Thermal XT. Um, I think this is a somewhat new version. Um, it's 2022 and I, I actually picked this up from Shields. So I just did a few different upgrades and I wanna show you real quick what, what those look like. So number one, it took me, I don't know, probably two, three hours to put this entire thing together. A um, lot of different pieces in which if you haven't done it yet, you'll, you'll soon find out. It includes the runner kit, so you can see all of my um, mounts in the bottom there. And then that's what, what my runners look like. I actually had to take a, a heat gun and, and bend them up on each, on each side there. And you're gonna wanna do that before, um, before you put the tarp and everything in the seats and everything on it because you just want it to be the tub. Anyway, the, the actual kit came with just a black rope and I actually upgraded it to this just red rope. I got it at Ace Hardware. I got an eyebolt, three eighths that went through. I got a washer that you see I actually had to cut, cut flat there. And June wants to check this out too. On the inside, you can see I just did a piece of uh, aluminum just to spread out that weight distribution when you're really reefing on it on each side. And then uh, a nylon lock, lock nut and then a washer as well. Um, those are, those are one of the upgrades. The next upgrade I did, and I also saw this on YouTube, these thermal tarps, this is my first thermal. These thermal tarps are super thick. And what that creates is a ton of tarp in the back of this. And there's not that much room, um, to access all of your things in the bottom of the box. So let me show you what it looks like before. And that's here with the bungees and then show you how it comes factory. See that? So that's what it looks like. So all your stuff's covered up there. But with these with these bungees, I just did a, a simple mount there. And then also on the inside, see that there? Hook it up, peel it back, and like that. And that will save you some space. Now, after a day out on the ice, everything's wet and there's condensation, you have to remember to probably take your tarp off and stand this thing up and make sure that you know, everything dries out because you don't want everything cinched real tight in there. But just for getting to and, and from your spots, this will save some room. And I thought it was a, a really valuable upgrade. Other than that, I'm getting ready for ice season here in Nebraska. Looks like we should have ice here, I don't know, next three or four days. So um, good luck to you all out there this year and thanks for watching.